Now to the rudder. We want the rudder to turn like this. So it has its function. And to do this we need our rotation X. Like this stick. And we need to stick this stick inside of the rudder. And for that I'm going to cut a piece out of the rudder and stick this stick inside. Let's do it. Now I've got the rudder like this. So I can fit the stick inside. And this just like this. And so I can move the rudder like this. Now I only have to stick it with glue in the place. Now the glue is hard and dry and it's holding and I've put some kit it's called. It's some some mass like plastilin and I put it into the hole here and so it's so smooth like before. Now I'm going to paint it black. Now it's time to make the shape of the deck. For that I also use a sheet of styrofoam like this. And I'm going to cut with the knife and with the sandpaper and shape it like this. And not glue it onto the boat because um, we have to install some components such as the keel, the rudder or the the mast. Now to the keel. I took the keel which I painted and, and cut and I made a hole in the foam where I put in the piece of wood, the keel and I made it bump Proof. No, really, it's really stable, just like this, with glue and a piece of wood. It looks quite na quite nice. Next, we have to put the the carbon fiber boom in place. This will be the mast. I bought a carbon fiber boom, four millimeters diameter and a meter of length and and for that I took some little pieces of wood and I glued them together so it becomes a big piece and then I dig the hole I drilled a hole into it about four millimeters so the boom fits inside there. Now we have to glue this onto the boat. Very, very good. Now, like you see here, really much things have changed since the last video clip. And I worked hard without filming any detail or like this. So I'm going to update the, the ship like it is now. Now, at first, last time we got to this point, I were about to glue this wooden piece onto the boat. And here you see the result. It is glued like really good with some wood and some, some styrofoam and so. Because it has to hold the sail and this has to hold really good. It's so good, you see. Then the next big step you surely noticed was the deck that I made. 
the last time it was just some piece of foam and now it looks like this like so good I took only some sandpaper and a knife and really much time and I ended up with this it looks really nice and if you put it onto the boat and what I find that it is a really good thing about this build is that you use your foam board then you can spend a lot of time and work and do something like this or you can take the square model and let it like square you spent a few bucks on the foam for this boat or for a simple boat it's just how much time you put inside your work but will always cost you the same now i got my little model here for some explanations now this is the thread which will be moving later and also this will be the same and they will steer the sails and we have to do this on the bigger boat like this now on this build the cord has to be tightened and untightened from a servo in here and we need a hole in the foam for this but when we put the thread in this hole and with the forces it will cut the foam badly so I made a little wood hole so this is for resistance we also need this in the back now back to the focus of hype this ship has this strange thing here to have the thread inside and for my boat I built something like this I took inspiration from the focus from hype and I have here some wooden stuff and then the thread goes through this thing and now at last we have this big hole on the back of the boat and we have to open it to change the battery or like if something gets broken a servo like this we have to open it and so a little thin wood plate and I form this and then this goes here and it closes the hole and then with a screw later on we can unscrew it and change the battery and like this and that's pretty much was the update and now I would say to continue with the build so if we look at the magazine we see that the boat has much attachment points for some cords and chains and if we just glue them to the foam this will break and it will not hold so we need to make some wood reinforcement so we make sure that then the cords will hold the force of the wind this is how they look like now these are some metal things glued in with a wooden expansion they are really tough, really stiff and you can hang in your sails and it will hold it will not break then in the boat we have this wooden thing I glued it into the boat and I painted it black then I have made these styrofoam things so when I put on this wooden cover it has a good approach it's really like the shape so it's good then by the way here I cut a hole for this wooden thing and now to some other stuff here I made a place for the battery then here I made a place for the servo and here I made a place for the ESC I made it now because later on it will it's very difficult to make it and now to the moment all of us have waited we can glue the deck on watch like it looks like because we can see this anymore it fits nicely 
And here in front we see the metal hooks for the sails going through the styrofoam. Ooh, it really looks nice. And now that the glue is hard and it's holding, it's time to smooth the boat for one last time. And then we are going to paint it. But we are already at the end of this episode and so we will see the paint on the other episode. So subscribe me so you don't miss any of my episodes and tune in next week for the next episode where I'm going to color the boat. <laughs> <laughs>